place value dividing by powers of 10. He's back. How can we divide by the powers of 10 to find the relationship between the values of places in a number? Well, this should look familiar. We've already explored place value and how you can use base 10 blocks to represent each place. The ones place has one unit, tens place has 10 units, hundreds place has a hundred units, and the thousands place has a thousand units. You also know that each place is 10 times greater than the place before it. 1 times 10 equals 10. 10 times 10 equals 100, and 100 times 10 equals 1,000. Well, division is just the inverse or opposite of multiplication. So 10 divided by 10 equals 1. 100 divided by 10 equals 10, and 1,000 divided by 10 equals 100. When you go from a bigger place to a smaller place, you just divide by 10. Whoop! That's right! All these relationships to 10, that's why we call it the base 10 number system. When you go from a small place to a large place, you multiply by 10. When you go from a large place to a small place, you divide by 10. Let's compare the 7 in the 10,000s place to the 7 in the 1,000s place. Well, the 7 in the 10,000s place has a value of 70,000. The 7 in the 1,000s place has a value of 7,000. It's only one place over, so we divide by 10 one time. 70,000 divided by 10 equals 7,000. Don't forget, we could also think of that as 7,000 times 10 equals 70,000. In this number, let's compare the 6 in the 100,000s place to the 6 in the 1,000s place. What's the value of each one? The 6 in the 100,000s place is worth 600,000. The 6 in the 1,000s place is worth 6,000. This time, they're two places apart. So we're dividing by 10 two times. Well, I see a zero in this 10 and a zero in this 10. So that's two zeros or 100. 600,000 divided by 100 equals 6,000. Remember, we can always go the opposite direction too using multiplication. 6,000 times 100 equals 600,000. In our final example, let's compare the 5 in the 10,000s place to the 5 in the 10s place. What's the value of each digit? The 5 in the 10,000s place has a value of 50,000. The 5 in the 10s place has a value of 50. This time, we're dividing by 10 one, two, three times. Well, there's three zeros in those 10s, so there's going to be three zeros and what I'm dividing by, which is 1,000. 50,000 divided by 1,000 equals 50. As always, we can go the other direction too using the inverse of division, which is multiplication. 50 times 1,000 equals 50,000. Super 10 to the rescue! In this lesson, you learn the relationship between the values of places in a number by dividing by powers of 10.